For all of you that thought that electric aircraft was an impossibility, it's here at Oshkosh. This is Andy Chan from Pipistrill, and uh, he's going to show us around this electric aircraft. First starting off right here at the front end. Andy, what are we looking at here? A brushless That's electric? Yes, it's a 65 kilowatt brushless motor. Uh, as you can see, it's exceptionally tiny and lightweight for the power it outputs. Uh, but obviously, an electric aircraft, the whole system is is part of the power plant essentially. In other words, you have to have the batteries to power the motor, and of course, the motor controller plus your inverter. So a lot of different elements to the system. Um, and Pipistrel is unique in that obviously we build the airframe. We also built the entire electric propulsion system. Uh, from the batteries to the uh, inverter to the motor controller to the battery management system to and the that, chargers. That horsepower worked out to an equivalent of about it's around 80 horsepower. About 80 horsepower. The whole idea behind this aircraft is a trainer aircraft. So you get about a 50 minute range with the battery pack that you have installed, and it takes about what 30 minutes to recharge. 30 minutes on uh, the ideal power setting, yeah, absolutely. Which would be like 220. Uh, that would be three phase, 480 volts. Otherwise, I'll figure on a lot longer charging times. And these batteries will last about an equivalent TBO of about 2,000 cycles or roughly 2,000 hours. That is correct. Yes. And right now these batteries come in at a cost of about 10,000 bucks. 10,000 each and the, and the aircraft has two. And, but these, and the type of battery we're running are, are lithium? Lithium ion. Lithium yes. ion. So you got to cool these batteries, right? That's correct. So you see this uh, pink tube here. It's actually a clear tube with pink fluid in it. Um, that houses uh, some of our cooling system. We actually have two separate cooling systems on the aircraft. One that cools the batteries and one that cools the motor and uh, motor controller and things like that. And back here we've got more of this cool. Are we looking at more of this cooling system back here? That's correct. That's the apps uh, cooling system for the battery packs. And are these uh, pumps for the cooling system here? Yep, those are the water pumps. And as far as the aircraft itself, it go, uh, first off, what's the empty weight approximately on this? Empty weight's around 700 pounds. About 700 pounds. So it's a real simple trainer, uh, full span ailerons, but they're also flapperons. If, if you lower those, you still have flapperons. And you, it's got a high aspect ratio wing, but you don't need spoilers because like many electric vehicles if you come back on the throttle it'll go into a regenerative mode yes it, it does have the ability to regenerate electricity that is not the primary functionality of the design it's primarily designed uh, in lieu of air brakes you can engage the motor to create resistance and slow you down to increase your descent rate and as a byproduct we're able to charge the batteries at around one uh, or two uh, kilowatts and of course a fixed pitch propeller on that just beautiful build quality on this. Adjustable rudder pedals for training, the glider style spars that so it looks like you can pull the wings off real easy for storage. Absolutely. Wow. Super clean carbon fiber design. T-tail construction. Is this one of your uh, chargers right here? That is. So we wow. call that we call that a portable charger. It does not fit in the aircraft, but you can you can bring it with you in a vehicle or something like that should you need to and move it around. We also have uh, built-in chargers, like kind of Tesla-style chargers that you might see somewhere. Wow. And, of course, that plugs in right back up here, right into there. Wow. And it's currently experimental here in the United States, but already over in Europe, it is certified approved for training in Europe. Yes, this is the world's first and only still certified airplane in the world. It is currently only EASA certified. Um, we are aware of the FAA Mosaic program, which is going forward in 2024, which will allow for the commercial use of these aircraft. Excellent. Thanks so much, Andy. That was a great, Thank you. great briefing on the new Pipistrel Velis Electro. Electric airplanes are here, and they're a perfect setup for training.